Hey guys, Danny Johnson here and welcome back to the garage. Today I wanted to answer a question that I get a few times and I got it just the other day so it reminded me. And the question was, if it says right on the oil cap I'm supposed to run SAE 5W20, why do I show in my video that I'm running 5W30? Okay, the question was basically saying if I follow everything to the book then why wouldn't I follow what it says right on the cap? Okay, so the answer to this is very simple. Uh, there's uh, an organization called Corporate Average Fuel Economy, or CAFE, and right around the year 2000, they basically came out with a stipulation that they wanted cars to get better fuel economy, and one of their thoughts on how to do that would be to run a lighter weight oil, okay, a thinner oil with lower viscosity. And so the thinking of that was kind of interesting. And I'm going to show you a clip at uh, the auto parts store that it made me think of and explain kind of what, uh, what it means. So I really like this model at the parts store. As you turn one wheel with the traditional motor oil, you see how easy it is to turn, but the thicker oil is harder to turn, but it definitely lubricates better. You can see it uh, compiling there. So once again, easier to turn, less effort, and a little bit harder to turn, but better lubrication. So hopefully this will stay in your mind as we talk about the rest of this. Okay, so as you saw, it is technically easier to spin an object in the lighter weight engine oil with a lower viscosity than a thicker, higher viscosity oil. And the thought is that you're going to save a little bit of uh, miles per gallon, get a little bit better of a, an average among millions you know, of cars combined, but one single car will not notice a difference. Okay, so with that, you're running, you know, a lighter weight oil. That's actually not as good as lubricating as the thicker weight oil would be. Okay, so if you were to pay attention to these Mustangs before 1999 or that era, you'll see that they were running 5W30 and then snap, by the flip of a switch, they switched it to 520. Okay, now daily driving, even if you're racing it a little bit, you're not going to probably ever notice a difference between the two. It's not that big of a deal. But when you have a supercharger and heat, especially a lot more heat, um, that's going to break the oil down and that's going to be a problem when it comes to lubrication. So with that said, uh, it's a good idea in my opinion. Okay, I'm not offering advice here, but um, as for my car, I'm gonna run a slightly thicker weight motor oil. Now I'm not gonna jump straight to like 10W60 like BMW has done. That's what they do in the M3 and they have rod bearing failures because the oil is uh, basically, it uh, has too high of a thickness or viscosity in the beginning for that oil to get down into the rod bearings and they have a lot of rod bearing failures. And uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's part of it. So when you're looking at motor oil, you see the 5W30. So W stands for winter, and so the first number tells you the viscosity of this oil and how it reacts in the cold weather. Okay, so 5W means it's gonna be similar to like a five weight, and it's gonna flow a lot easier. And then when it's warm, it's gonna be about a 30 weight oil. Okay, so that's what the that's what that means. If you're in cold winter months area and you have a lot of snow, then you want to have that zero W thirty. Okay, and that's gonna ha that's gonna make the oil basically be able to flow a lot easier when it's cold. So you can imagine trying to stir a pot of honey. Okay, <laughs> that's what your engine's trying to do and push through the the whole engine and through the valve lash adjusters and the rod bearings and everything um when it's cold it's almost like trying to push honey through all that so you do want the lower uh weight oil with a lower viscosity um in the beginning to get into the rod bearings and you know to move around until the engine's warm uh once it's warm then you want it to be at that 30 weight which the car is designed for or the 20 weight um in order for it to not to seize up or have any problems. Now, newer vehicles, I have a little more confidence. This one calls for 0W20, and that's what I run in it. Uh, 
it's not supercharged and um, you know I'm not doing a lot of heavy towing or anything like that with it so it's gonna be fine that way and uh, you know it's, it's, it all depends on what the car is designed for I think these newer vehicles are designed differently with different tolerances and clearances but uh, it was pretty much more of an afterthought on this body style just saying hey can we just comply with them and throw 20 weight oil in there and the engineer probably said yeah just go ahead and do that and just change the oil cap <laughs> so it says 5w20 but anyway so that's the reasoning that's why i will run 5w30 in my car and um, you can go even a little thicker than that from what i've seen some people do and if you have a built engine or other things with different rod bearing clearances and all that that's all going to determine what weight oil you're going to run and as an example the newer gt500s and the boss 302 uh, they're in the uh, 10w50 range so a, a lot thicker oil ford does understand the need for you know a thicker motor oil uh, for heat and tracking and everything like that so they will go to a thicker high higher viscosity and so that's kind of what they've done so anyway uh, hopefully that answers your question and uh, if you have any questions let me know and tell me what motor oil weight you're running thanks guys <laughs>